Welcome, human and aliens, to another game of Dead by Daylight. Today, we're playing the Xenomorph. As always, if you already know the killer's basics or don't want to hear about my perks, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are in the comments. The Xenomorph is what I often call an M1.5 killer. In Dead by Daylight, typically killers who rely on their basic attacks to deal damage and have their special power act as support are referred to as M1 killers such as Clown or Wraith. The opposite would be killers like Blight or Nurse, killers that rely on their special powers to get hits. An M1.5 killer would be a killer like Wesker, Pig, or the Xenomorph, killers whose power gives them an alternate option to their basic attacks that tends to have situational use. The Xenomorph's primary power is a long-range tail attack that can hit over pallets and low barriers, but it has a very narrow hitbox and a very punishing miss cooldown. The Xenomorph can only use the tail in Crawler mode, a mode it enters automatically after a brief cooldown. This cooldown will be much shorter if you're moving around in a tunnel. Its secondary power is the ability to traverse the map through preset tunnels. These tunnels, the alien can see the footsteps of survivors running around and can traverse the map very quickly. Survivors can set up flame turrets around the map that will shoot flames at the Xenomorph slowing it down and removing crawler mode if not destroyed in time. In terms of my perks, I have barbecue and chili for information, showing the auras of faraway survivors whenever I hook one. With the tunnels, you'll be able to catch up to the survivors revealed by this perk very easily. I'm running Pop Goes the Weasel and Scourge Hook Gift of Pain for my game slowdown. Pop lets you regress the first generator you kick after hooking a survivor by a large amount and Gift of Pain slows down the healing speed of any survivor hooked on a white hook, and when fully healed, those survivors will have their gen repair speed slowed. These two perks synergize very well together, since they both slow down survivors without interfering with each other's effects. The last perk I'm running is Shadowborn. A recently changed perk, now Shadowborn gives you a massive speed boost after getting blinded by a flashlight. Survivors annoying you with their flashlights? This perk will let you punish their attempted bullying hard. It's not a very competitive perk, but it certainly is fun. As an added note, when playing M1.5 killers, try to avoid perks that rely on basic attacks, like Surge or Sloppy Butcher. You will not consistently be using your basic attack, and you don't want to use perks that force you to choose between playing optimally with your power and getting the effects of the perks. In this build, Gift of Pain gives you the same effects of Sloppy Butcher, but relies on hooks instead of basic attacks. The add-ons that I'm using are the star map to make breaking the flame turrets a bit easier, and the rations to show where the turrets are placed while traversing the tunnels, for a bit more information on where the survivors are playing around. The explanation certainly lasted quite a long time, but will our survivors last that long? One way to find out. Ah, Cobra Landing. An alien planet map. How fitting. This is one of the newer maps, and I don't have a ton of experience with it. So let's see how it goes. First thing I'm going to do is get in one of these tunnels and see if I can find some footsteps while getting my power. I'm not seeing much of anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice stuff. There were three flashlights in the pregame lobby, so I thought we could have some fun with Shadowborn. Oh, this is not a safe loop against Zeno. Watch this. <laughs> oh, okay, she's standing at this loop. Hold on. I was sure she was going to drop that. Yeah, she's too smart to fall for that twice. Can't hurt to try a bit, though. Oh, that's a nice fall. I was not expecting that. I'm just still not used to this new map's loops. Yeah. 
I hear her still inside. Yeah, now she's out of position. For the easy down. And here comes the first of, I'm sure, many flashlight save attempts. As I was saying, there were three flashlights in the pregame lobby, so I'm going to expect quite a lot of that. Unfortunately, I don't quite have my power yet, as you lose it when you uh, pick up a down survivor. Can't quite interrupt this, but I can go for a quick down. I think I can get her when she tries to drop this pallet. Yeah, looks like I didn't need to. Okay, three flashlights, yep. So predictable. Oh, and Leon's here too? Jeez. You guys enjoying the tale? And you're here too? Man. Should be a safe pickup. Oh. Yet another Leon who doesn't know how to get flashbang saves. And that James has got the uh, new Alan Wake perk that gives you more movement speed when you're trying to blind someone with a flashlight. It's not getting much use out of it though. Oh, hello, Leon. Nice scourge hook for you. Oh, that's one turret down. Leon's going for Shaq there. I don't want to chase him there right now. How was I close enough to get stunned by that? Come on. I really want her to use that flashlight of hers. Ah, here we go. Oh, I'm so fast. How you like that? See, the best part about all these guys bringing flashlights is that instead of doing gems, they're just buzzing around me like bees. Only wasting their own time. Okay, somebody injured over here. Uh, but they're going straight back for Shaq. I can handle Shaq, especially a Xenomorph, but I don't see a reason to when there's so many survivors buzzing around the hook. Like, here we go. Hey, Leon, catch. Once again, going straight back for Shaq. No, I'm not going to waste time here. Look, he's so desperate for attention. As a rule of thumb, if the survivor wants you to be chased... Oh, I can't believe that got me in time. If a survivor wants to be chased, don't chase him. Not much progress on that, but I might as well kick in. Looks like I don't have much choice but to go here. Yeah, I don't quite have my power yet. I think I'll chase this guy. She's probably going straight for that window. Yeah, I should have trusted my gut. She's not going anywhere, though. Oh, wow, that blind was almost good. Right 
here. And I was too slow on the tail. Come on, Leon, where's all your flash bang stuns? I gotta remember, I, I want to be stunned here. Hey, there it is. Ah, here we go. Hey, Leon, where are you going? Where are you headed, boy? To the ground. Shadowborn gives you that speed boost when you're blinded by any means, not just flashlights. Bad news for our little Leon here. Okay, down the two gens left. Gotta be a little careful. Nice flashlight. Okay, they're both here. Let's see if I can end this game right now. That's two. Okay, James is back up. Still, I'm in a very good spot right here. Let's pop this gen and move on. I think I could find somebody in the tunnels. These tunnels are a really underrated way to track survivors. There you are. Hold still. I just want to do a little surgery here. Are you? Are you for real? No, come on. There you go. Much better. Yeah, I see you. I'm coming for you too. Oops. Ah, nope. You messed up now. That's the game right there. Assuming no one has Unbreakable, of course. Let's just make sure I can take everybody to a hook. And one. Two. And three. All in all, a pretty fun match. Although I suppose I didn't get a... Uh, to show off Shadowborn too much, but eh, I still enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know below in the comments if you want to see more Dead by Daylight content.